The Igbami field was the biggest oil discovery in 1998 in the whole world. So it was a huge uh, economic objective to go for, and that's really the only technical way to bring the oil in that deep water to the market, is to do it offshore. An FPSO, that's a floating production, storage, and offloading vessel. So it's like a big ship without an engine. All the oil is produced up through that vessel, and then we store the oil in there just like a crude tanker, and then we offload that oil to export tankers that go deliver the product around the world. Well, the Igbami vessel's floating in the ocean, and then it's connected to the ocean floor by these flexible pipelines that that go down to the seabed, and then on the seabed we have the wellhead, and so from there uh, we then drill down there to the actual reservoir. The Igbami project took 10 years from the point of first discovery to when we actually started producing oil, and then it's another 20 years of production for its full life. Um, so that gives you a sense that this is a real major investment that takes a long time to get this kind of energy to the public. Yeah, the Igbami project was a great thing for the Nigerian economy. Uh, we employed over a thousand people. We had training of people all over the world. We created new capabilities in the whole uh, economy. This has brought in more Nigerians into the new frontier of technology because the deep water is the way we are going now. I think Igbami Field's got another 20 years of production ahead. Um, we've got a lot of drilling still to do. Uh, we have to operate safely, we have to respect the environment, and the Chevron team's ready to deliver that. Yeah, a real rewarding thing for me about a project like Igbami is, is getting all these people from around the world, thousands of people, to focus on one objective, and then seeing something like Igbami come to life, that's a real sense of satisfaction when you've made that happen.